Princess Kate recently underwent abdominal surgery, and King Charles is set to receive treatment for a benign prostate condition, two significant health challenges faced by senior members of the royal family. However, amid these concerns, Meghan and Harry, who once pledged to be forces for good and champions of causes close to their hearts, had maintained a conspicuous silence. While Prince Kate and King Charles grapple with health issues, Meghan and Harry were spotted at a movie premiere in Jamaica, seemingly more focused on preserving their celebrity status than showing concern for the well-being of their fellow royals. Royal commentator Lady Colin Campbell expressed her dismay, stating that the situation stinks to high heaven, and she couldn't be more accurate. Meghan and Harry, known for never shying away from the spotlight, now find themselves tight-lipped when it comes to addressing the health issues of their relatives. Lady Colin Campbell points out that a simple public declaration would have sufficed, a gesture that would have shown empathy and solidarity. However, Meghan and Harry appear adept at exploiting situations without extending the basic courtesy of acknowledging concerns surrounding their family members' health. Although Meghan Markle took advantage of Catherine's hospital stay to steal the spotlight, she was not treated like a VIP on the red carpet. In previous premier events, Princess Catherine and Prince William both sat in the first VIP row. However, Meghan was pushed back to the eighth row. Additionally, Catherine wore matching dresses to movie events, making her a fashion icon, but Meghan failed to emulate that. Recalling Catherine at the Spectre premiere in London in 2015, Daniel Craig praised her for a dress. Prince William, Princess Catherine, and Prince Harry attended the world premiere of the latest James Bond movie, Spectre in London, dressed in an aqua blue Jenny Packham gown with stunning diamond earrings and a matching clutch. The Duchess of Cambridge was the picture of Hollywood glam when she walked next to her husband down the carpet, with Prince Harry following close behind in a classic black tuxedo. After chatting with director Sam Mendes and some of the film's producers for a few moments before showtime, Bond actor Daniel Craig expressed his gratitude at the support around him and spoke highly of Princess Catherine, saying she was stunning. The premiere attended by William and Catherine was a huge charity affair and black tie event, it was a gala. The little premiere affair in Jamaica was for the people of Jamaica, and there will be another one in LA in the next week. The One Love premiere was for regular people that Marley loved, so it was more casual. Lady Colin Campbell believes that Meghan and Harry were not invited to the Jamaican event due to the seating, as it wasn't an event commensurate with Meghan being overdressed. One doesn't sit away from the family, the stars of the film, the Prime Minister, and of course, the Paramount CEO if they are important. The look on Harry's face said it all, he knew they weren't supposed to be there. The seating arrangement indicates they were not welcome, and no one wanted to be near them. Photo ops are all quite awkward, and the Prime Minister's wife's expression speaks volumes. The CEO of Paramount is not happy as his wife holds her very frigid stance and walks off from the photo. Meghan and Harry walked into the shot, but it sure looks like they weren't supposed to be there.